everyone, so as you can tell by my voice I've got a little bit of a cold and I thought I would do a video today talking about products that help you feel and look better when you're feeling sick and I'm not going to mention makeup in this video, I was going to but I decided against it because I think actually when, you feel, when you're feeling rough, when you wear tons of makeup it actually makes everything look worse because your skin tends to be quite dehydrated and I just kind of do concealer, blusher and mascara and something on my lips if they're feeling dry um, and let's face it if you're feeling really ill you're probably not going to work anyway so it doesn't matter so much but I um, when I get ill I really notice it in my face I get really kind of dehydrated skin but I also get spotty because it's dehydrated so it's extra specially lovely um, and I have got a couple of products here I'm going to start with cleansing products because when you're feeling rough you don't tend to take care of your skin as well as you should you should be drinking lots of water and all that kind of thing we know all of this but I do think that treating your skin um, to sort of like some nice treaty products if you're having a nice relaxing bath do really help I'm going to talk about bath products in a minute but they definitely definitely um, help kind of if your body's feeling achy as well I always find having a nice hot bath really does help but this is a product that I use every single time I'm not feeling well and it's the Aurelia Refine and Polish Miracle Balm which looks like this it's a cleansing balm that's a little bit grainy and it almost kind of feels a bit like Vicks which sounds really weird like Vicks vapor rub it sounds really weird but it's actually really pleasant and it just makes you feel better the smell and the feeling and to just kind of massage your face a little bit it brings the circulation back it'll help to get rid of kind of any dryness that you've got and just bring things back to life a little bit and it just really really is something that I always like to have in for when I'm not feeling well um, because it just really helps kind of make everything look more alive and pretty. I was just looking at, looking at the packaging thinking I really like it but I really recommend that one and then the other one I always go to when, I've, um, when I'm not feeling well is this one and I've used so much of this and it's the This Works Light Time Cleanse and Glow. This is like a vitamin C type of product that you have to activate. It's a cleansing balm, smells amazing, smells like oranges. And then you cleanse your face with it, massage it all over, add a little bit of water, and then you can leave it on as kind of an energising mask for a little bit. And it just perks everything up, really gentle, and the smell again. I like that kind of aromatherapy type of smell, it really relaxes me when I'm not feeling well. So they're both really, really good recommendations, but the Aurelia one definitely you need if you're not feeling well. Um, then for kind of... Have, there's a funny mixture I've got here really I do like to use an exfoliator because like I said I can get really dehydrated skin when I'm not well and it kind of has like a I'll get like little flaky bits here and like around my eye area and everything so something really gentle works really well and this is the one I've been using a lot and it's the Be Good Honey and Camellia Facial Exfoliator it's really gentle and just leaves everything kind of feeling really soft not stripped, not too scrubby you don't want to go in with like a chemical exfoliator necessarily because that might be a bit harsh but this works really well if you have had a really sleepless night because you're coughing all night is me um <coughs> sorry um or you're just generally feeling really rough and your eye area makes you look knackered this is the liz earl eye bright soothing eye lotion you pop a little bit on some cotton pads lie down with it kind of under your eye area for a little while and it just brings everything back to life helps reduce any kind of um swelling and if you've got a really early start in the morning this helps as well just a little tip for you there um then like i said about everything being kind of dehydrated i tend to get spots because of that and then i want to get rid of the spots but i don't want to make the kind of dryness even worse and this is a product that i don't like because i don't think it is deep cleansing but i have been using it because of that um it kind of has just helped make my skin a little bit clearer but not dried it out in the way that I normally would like it to do and it's the Organic Surge Deep Cleansing Face Mask the texture of this is bizarre to me it's like a cleanser it's just a cream cleanser like that it's got, I don't know they say it has that like clay in it and I'm like where is the clay I don't feel the clay um, but it's nice to just kind of soothe over your face and try and tackle any of that little kind of bumpy business that you might have going on another great kind of problem solving product when your skin is acting weird um, and when you have kind of dryness you know especially what you'll have it like around your nose and everything if you've been blowing your nose a lot 
so glamorous here on this channel, aren't we? Um, it's the Clarins Beauty Flash Bar. This is one of those weird products that I have used for like probably the last eight years. I don't use it every day. I did go through a phase of using it every day and I don't do that now. But it's one I always like to have in because you never know when you might need pick me up or to tackle any dry business. It just works so well on my skin, uh, evening things out and just if I've got any dryness or bumpy texture, whack a big thick layer on of this, go to bed and I wake up in the morning and everything's back to normal. It just works really, really well for me. I know you're supposed to use it as like a, you're not supposed to throw it on the floor, but um, you're supposed to use it as like a primer type of products. And I do like it like that, like it does give good glow, but I prefer it as a more intense treatment. I've also got this toner here, which isn't, you know, this by no means is necessary, but it just feels nice and it kind of smells nice. And it's the Yours Truly Organics Balancing Toner been spritzing this kind of all over my face after I've been cleansing and everything just to sort of plump everything out I, I feel like toner does that for me if it's a spray if your skin is feeling really dehydrated but like I said again a bit spotty and a bit weird and just not balanced this is a great moisturizer and it's the organic surge blissful daily moisturizer for normal combination skin this is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers because it's a water-based moisturizer so it sinks into your skin so nicely I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand here it feels lovely, it doesn't have that normal moisturiser feeling, it just, you can feel that it's got water in it and it kind of gets to work on your skin and just plumps everything out and great if you're feeling dehydrated because that is a lack of water, not a lack of oil, so I really recommend that and it smells lovely, such a like, relaxing lemony smell. Um, and then I've got two kind of shower products for well, shower and bath if you're feeling a bit fragile, kind of you need to take care of yourself when you do shower. Um, and this is the Aromatherapy Associates Support um, Bethel with Lavender and Peppermint. She looks like this. I really, really like this one. I like all the Aromatherapy ones, to be fair. Um, oh, God, it smells so good. A cat full in your bath. That's all you need. And it's just amazing. It will help kind of relieve any aches and pains. It just makes everything better. It's just a life changer. Um, really expensive, but nice kind of treaty thing to have. And instead of my normal shower gel, because I've been like really achy and tired. I'm not as bad today, but like on Saturday, I felt so rough. I've been using the Dove shower oil. Because again, that oiliness, it just feels kind of quite pampering and quite nice when you're feeling sorry for yourself and you're feeling quite rough. So yeah, I, um, I've been using all of those products. Now I'm feeling a little bit better now. But if you do have a cold, because it's that kind of season, then take care of yourself. Try these products and they will definitely make you feel and look a little bit better than um, you feel to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you next time.